Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt Bogosian. In case you don't know me, I am a real estate agent right here in the Spring Hill, Tennessee area. You probably found this video because you are trying to learn a little bit more about Spring Hill and you came to the right place. So today I'm gonna show you guys the shopping center that's called the crossings of Spring Hill. I wanted to just come down here and take a ride through and show you guys the stores. Um, like I said, I can't really tell you much about the history because I really couldn't find much. But you take a left in here, you've got Olive Garden right there to the left. You enter into this roundabout. I'm gonna break off right here. And this is kind of the main area right here in front of me. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a right right here. And we'll go all the way down from the end. But here on the right, you see Hibbit Sports, there's a dentist, GNC. Oh cool, see, I didn't know there was a D1 training here. I'm gonna just go around this corner. Firehouse Subs. Ascend Federal, Federal Credit Union. So this is really like the main shopping area in Spring Hill. There's tons of different stores and little like shopping plazas in Spring Hill, but really nothing um, else like this with these larger stores and restaurants mixed in. I'm here kind of early in the morning, so I was hoping to, to beat all the traffic and there's even another little road right here and there's some restaurants and a liquor store i'll take you guys up there too so you know i, I get it if you're moving to an area you want to know if there's some good shopping and and places for you to go to eat so this is located on the south side of spring hill sephora i believe that's like a part of Coles. i don't you know someone chime in if they can tell me what that is i think it's like a some kind of part of coal so you got coals right there on the right there's electric charging stations right there that's cool right here we've got ross dress for less i don't know that i've ever been in a ross dress for less seems like it'd be cheap <laughs> dollar tree we know that's inexpensive i mean rack room shoes that's like my go-to place when i gotta throw on some dress shoes and mine are worn out ultra beauty never heard of it home goods that's pretty cool so if you need some outdoor furniture or any kind of home stuff bed uh, bath and body works uh, pet smart my kids love pet smart they've got curbside pickup I think it's really kept really nice here too for the most part I love these trees and the bushes breaking up the parking lot. I think it looks nice. And then they've got these little brick sections right here. I think that adds to it. Just gives it a nice look. There's one I haven't been in in a while. Electronics Express. Kirkland's is great. I mean, with me being in real estate, if you need to like add some nice details and touches to your home to sell it or just to you're gonna live in it and you just want it to look a little nicer go to kirkland's get you like some greenery and dress up your house there's a super target what's the difference between a regular target and a super target do you guys know there's an optometrist there i know there's a starbucks in there so that's a little bit different but look, like this is all really nice to me looking. I mean, they do a good job trying to keep this looking decent. There's a place called the Salted Peace, an eye care center, Amigos, Mexican Grill. And there's actually two entrances, Jet's Pizza. I love Jet's Pizza. I'm not saying it's the best, but dang, it's good. Tropical Cafe. Bear with me guys. Foolin's Asian Cafe. 
I mean, so you guys get the picture. Suntan City. I didn't know people tan anymore. Like, I'm afraid just going out in the sun. Here people are just sitting in those machines. So let's look at the restaurants here. There's Olive Garden. I always like Olive Garden. Some good wine and bread. There's a Chili's. Chili's used to be my favorite. I went to college at the University of Tennessee and there's Panda Express and they used to have like a happy hour and I felt like so, going to Chili's felt so like high end to me at the time. Logan's Roadhouse, Buffalo Wild Wings is just always great. Like really cool atmosphere. Panera Bread for you people that want to get breakfast. Like Buffalo Wild Wings has those huge TVs and they've got all the taps and the good beer. I've never, there's Cracker Barrel, so that's cool. A little break, two couple breakfast spots. Parkway. Wine and spirits. I've actually never been in there, but it looks like a really nice liquor store. Red Robin. Hang with me guys, I'm almost through here. I really wanna show you this, so. Longhorn Steakhouse, I felt like I saw that property for sale. It might've been Logan's Roadhouse. Boomba's, that place is awesome. Boomba's is interesting. When they first opened, and you got a hotel here, they had like, their pizza was so expensive. I mean, and I think at one point they dropped their pricing and it's a lot more palatable if I might say so I think they wanted like 25 bucks for a pizza and people were like yeah so then you got this movie theater right here and it's obviously closed but it's a good sized movie theater so Spring Hill I mean like these aren't like super high end stores or restaurants but it just is like shows you that Spring Hill does have a fairly good amount of shopping and really I didn't even mention this is like one of our favorite restaurants it's called Jonathan's I don't know if I don't know I know that there's multiple Jonathan's throughout Middle Tennessee I don't know if they're in other states or anything like that but they have such a good menu and they have two for one beers so they bring you out two beers which I used to not like and now I've just embraced it. You just go there and you always get two for one beers. I'm like, whatever, bring them. But their menu is so diverse at Jonathan's and all the food's good. They've got burgers, steaks, salads, chickens, kids' chicken fingers, they've got pizza. Just like, it's the most well-rounded restaurant I think I've ever eaten at. And they also have, which I don't get to experience because I have kids, like what looks like a really cool bar area to like go and watch games. I see all the like cool people in there hanging out, having drinks, but I enjoy my kids, so. All right, so let me just take you out this other entrance because there's a few more places I want to show you, just a couple. Also, I did want to mention, guys, if you are thinking about making the move here, just remember I'm a real estate agent and I can help you. I know this area really well. I try to spend a lot of time in this area so I can get to know it better. And I always, guys, real estate agents are lying to you if they tell you they just know everything about every area it's so hard like i was telling you they're changing stores in there all the time like these videos help me know what's going on and what's changing in the area and it just kind of keeps me up to speed with things so there is a apartment complex on the right nice car wash that's actually a mannequin it looks like a nice looking girl but it's a mannequin Go figure. Men everywhere getting tricked by mannequins. So then when you come out over here, I think this is actually kind of considered part of the crossings. 
there's like an Arby's, an Aspen Dental, and then there's a full Starbucks right here to the right. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is called The Crossings, and it's, you know, the main shopping area here in Spring Hill. So if you guys have any questions about the area, if you're interested in seeing a list of homes for sale in Spring Hill, just comment below or shoot me a DM. You might be watching this on YouTube and that's fine. You can find my contact information in the description below. All right, guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.